Hey guys, this is Mikuji Crypto. Today we're going to be analyzing Bitcoin, BTC slash USDT. What Bitcoin is doing is absolutely incredible. We have never done this in the history of BTC pre-having cycles. The previous pre-having cycles, we have never run up so significantly without having any sort of correction. In fact, we have broken above the 50, the 618, the 786, and we're constantly making a move towards the upside. Now, if you guys are interested, check out the link below, the Discord link below. The Discord will give you access to the, the Discord, right? There's a link below. Hit the Discord. It's free to join the Discord. Uh, every now and then, what I do over there is I tell the guys what I'm looking for if I see anything interesting. Uh, in fact, two weeks ago, I spoke about how I see um, this coin, AVAX, Avalanche, how it's a good area to buy for myself. I was taking a look at a buy off this level. And I was telling them how it's a good buy, making 21 to 25% towards the upside. That happened two weeks ago. Let's see what Avalanche ended up doing. So it was around this area. I spoke about why we attracted the upside area. And eventually Avalanche did make that move towards the upside. And it was a, an easy 25% move towards the upside, right? Now, if you guys are not on the Discord, join the Discord. Interact with the members in the Discord, the crypto chat. Ask questions. Um, I'm free to answer questions. And I do this all for completely free. Uh, it's there's nothing to lose guys you need you guys need a community in, in in a bull cycle and it's important to join a community that way you guys understand what's happening especially when you're playing with bigger funds right it's important to join a community now if you guys want a more exclusive membership there's also a patreon link in the description below i have a good friend i teamed up with him his name is king k i've known this guy for 18 years he's a profitable trader in fact he got me into trading he trades every single morning 8 a.m to 8 30 a.m to 11 a.m new york time where he trades the stock market so if you guys want to follow his trades, check out King K. You can literally follow his trades from A to Z. And he'll also explain to you why he got into that trade. And he's a profitable trader. He's won close to 90% of his winning days is a win, is in profit, which is very, very big for a profitable trader to have close to 90% win rate. Also, if you guys want to take a look at your altcoins, I will do that twice a week. I'll analyze all your altcoins. Uh, whatever you want me to take a look at, ask me any questions regarding it. I'll do all that. And that's all part of the Patreon, which is a separate link entirely below now we'll take a look at btc btc is absolutely insane it's it's constantly making a move towards the upside i'm currently filming this video on sunday march 3rd so depending upon when you see this video i think i want to release this video on monday or tuesday but btc has it's never done this before it's never gone up so drastically pre-having and not had any sort of pullback We've had we've had no pullback so far. We've just been going towards the upside. This is the monthly chart. We've been shooting towards the upside with absolutely uh, no pullbacks at all. Let's zoom in into the monthly chart. And we have to examine the monthly chart in terms of premium and discount rate. So again, when price moves, there's a lot of resistance as price moves towards the upside in the term of a, a premium array. There's inefficiencies, there's order blocks, there's wicks, there's previous highs, etc. We have in fact broken above most of the premium arrays towards the upside. The major area for us for BTC was this green candle over here. This was a major area, this green candle with this inefficiency over here that was marked up over here. This was a major area of resistance. We have broken above that area of resistance, which is absolutely insane. Within a month, we're shooting so high up. Now, the next area of resistance for uh, BTC would be above an order block, which is this big green candle, which is acting resistance. If we break above that, the next area of resistance is the largest wick. The largest wick is this red wick over here with this red candle. We have to mark off half of that wick on the monthly aspect. And the half of that wick, the level is $65,200. If we're capable of closing a weekly candle body stick, Above $65,200, there is a very high probability that we're going to go above the all-time high. In fact, we could even do this before the halving. The halving is uh, next month, April 12 or 13, I believe. We could go there before the halving if we're capable of closing a week above $65,200. Right now, the week has just started. So we have to close a weak body above 65.2, then it's very possible for us to go up there even prior to the halving. It's a, you can't disregard that on the monthly aspect. On the weekly aspect, on the monthly aspect, we have to take a look at major support. I want to give you guys all the major support zones below us. So if we were to turn over, we have to take a look at what could potentially hold us as support off this level. If we were to turn over right now, look at the major support zones below us that could potentially hold us as support to push us up once again. So on the monthly aspect, we have an inverse fair value gap, which is this fair value gap on the left-hand side, which is now turned into support. That level ranges from 
48,230 all the way to 53,256. So if we were to curl down now, we have to take a look at this area for a major support on the monthly aspect. If I were to go to the weekly aspect, do we have weekly support? Yes. The weekly support ranges from 59,482 all the way to 62,553. We have closed a body above that weekly inefficiency or the weekly fair value gap, which has now turned into a weekly inverse fair value gap. So if we were to curl over to backtest this area, this area is acting as a major support zone on the weekly aspect. Let's go down to the daily aspect. On the daily aspect, we have order blocks over here, or this big red order block over here. This level ranges from 62,370 all the way to 61,090. This area is also going to act as a major support zone for us. Okay, so I've showed you guys the major support zones. The major support zones on the monthly aspect ranges from 48K to 53K. The major support zone on the weekly aspect ranges from 59K to 62.5K. And on the daily aspect ranges from 61K to 62.3K. Now, just because we're above support doesn't mean that we cannot break the support, all right? So depending upon how we react to these levels, when we do come back and backtest it, we have to see whether or not the structure we're making, such as a falling wedge, which is a bullish structure, or in other terms, a series of lower highs and lower lows. And if we break a, a lower high and make a higher high, let's say, then that will be an entry model towards the upside. So we have to take a look at all these factors when examining uh, these support zones, right? We have to look at all these factors when examining support zones, we are very close to the all time high for BTC. Again, we break a weekly body candlestick and we close a weekly body above 65.2K. Then the all time high is more than likely going to happen. All right. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Again, check out the Discord link. It's free to join the Discord. If you guys want a more exclusive membership, check out the Patreon below. Thank you and have a good one. Bye.